Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to render views in Express.js using template engines. With template engines, we can display JavaScript variables on the page and also write some basic JavaScript expressions. To better understand the use case for template engines, let me show you what I have here. So this is an Express application that has only one route. This route handler returns collection of cities, list of cities which is just a hard-coded data I have here for this demonstration, right? So this endpoint, which is the base URL, returns JSON data. If I start the server and visit the page localhost 3000, I'll go to localhost 3000, you see that what I get is the JSON data, the list of cities. But what I want to have here is proper HTML page with the image displayed, the title of the city, the description, etc. Instead of the raw JSON data that is being returned. And that's what I mean by rendering the view using template engine. Now, template engine is important because the data we are getting here is passed from the JavaScript code, right? It is not hard coded in HTML. We need something that can help us to grab this city information and render it on the HTML page eventually. Express.js supports different template engines. For example, there is Jade, there is Mustache, there is EJS, etc. So you can use any one you want. But the key thing here is that the steps to set them up is similar. And it is so easy to do, as you are going to see. To start making use of template engines is straightforward. First, we need to install the template engine we want to use in this example in express documentation they are making use of pog but we are going to make use of ejs like i said you can use any one you want so i'm going to stop the server and npm install ejs now we have ejs installed let's head over to the application and tell express the view engine we want to use to do that we say app.set to set a settings we say view engine and we say EJS. So this is the key for the setting and this is the value when setting up template engine. And then we create the views folder as the next step. So I'm going to come over here and create a folder named views. Inside this views folder is where the template we go into. So inside the views folder, let me create a file called uh, index.ejs. EJS because the template engine we're making use of is EJS. I'll hit enter here. Let me just write h1 welcome, right? And I'll save that. Now to render the view engine, sorry, the, the template, what I need to do is instead of raise.json, I can say raise.render. Raise.render. The first argument is the template you want to render. In this case, index. So index is the name of the file here. If this file were to be nested inside a folder like uh, pages and then index.ejs, you say pages and then index. But because it's at the root of the views folder, I will just say index. All right, so let's start the server again and give this a try to see what we have. The server is up and running. I will refresh this page. You can see we get the welcome on this page. So our setup works, but we are not done. We are going to see how to pass JavaScript variable to the template. Also, we are going to see how to deal with serving static assets like image. Because with the setup we have now, if we try to display the images, it's not going to work. All right, so first, let's see how to pass data to the template. It is actually simple. Let me minimize this. The data is what you pass as the second argument. So here, I'm going to pass our seat is which is imported from the fake db dot cities 
So this is how we can pass data to the template engine. But the next question is how do we display it? Because if I refresh this page, it is not showing up there. First, let me just put some, let me put the count of cities we have. To display something on the template depends on the template engine you are using. It depends on the syntax of the template engine, right? For EJS, we can do something like this. It's one hell of a syntax, but it is what it is. So we can say cities dot length. This is EJS syntax. If you are using Jade, uh, otherwise known as Pog, I think you use a different syntax. So let me refresh this page. Um, something happened. Okay, I think I have a typo in in the spelling of length. Should be that. I will refresh the page. You can see that we have six records in the cities. This proves that we have access to this data passed to the template. And of course, inside here I have six cities. Then let's go ahead to display the information inside the cities. For that, I'm going to use a for each loop. I'll just go ahead and copy that from EJS official documentation. I will copy this and replace the variable. So we are expecting cities. We say cities dot for each. And this is going to be city. Let's just print out the name of that city. So inside here, I'm going to use li and percentage equals city dot name and percentage all right let me refresh the page and see what we have here we have the list of cities let's beautify this a little bit and also see how to display an image to make the page more appealing what i've done is to bring in proper html structure and also included bootstrap so in the head section i have linked to bootstrap css and down before the closing of the body i have linked to bootstrap js then inside the body we do something similar to what we've seen before we say cities dot for each and for each city i am using bootstrap card to display the details so here we say city.name like we've seen before. We can do something similar for city.description. Then for the image, which is not going to display now because we need a little extra setup for static assets like image. So we say city.image, that is the image URL. If I run this the way it is now, we're going to see something different except for the image. So this is the card. And these are the cities, right? Let's talk about how to display static assets. And to do that is really straightforward. What we need to do is to go to go and tell Express we have to find the static assets, where they are located. For this, we say app.use and express.static. With the express, we have to find static assets. Usually we can call this public folder. Then it means that we need to create that folder here. I'm going to create a folder called public. By the way, you can call this anything you want, right? But it makes sense to call it public. The next thing I need to do is to bring in the images that are referenced in this fake database. So I'm going to create a folder inside public named image because that's where I'm expecting to find the images. Then I'll pause the video and copy the images into that folder. All right, I've copied over the six images for the cities. We can go back now and refresh the page to see the difference. And now we get the images. So guys, basically what you need to do to render a view is to tell Express the view engine you are using, 
and make sure to install the, the template engine view engine whatever for static files like images you want to tell express where to find them in this case we said a folder named public you can name this anything you want let's call this xxxxx i will name the folder this if i refresh now it's not going to show because i cannot find the folder but if i change this to the same name now it can find the folder so i will change this back to public which makes more sense public and public and if i refresh this page that also works all right guys this brings us to the end of this lesson on how to render views in express.js and how to serve static assets i hope it makes sense until next time enjoy coding